we're going to replace x. Okay, and you must stick to this replacement of x, okay? So for example, for example, if you feel that the first thing that you want to do, right, is to replace x by modulus of x, then what you need to do is to recognize that it will not continue to work. Because if you can only replace this x, there is no way for you to be able to get a f negative modulus of x. Because even if you were to replace this x here by minus x, it is still going to give you a uh, this. It will never give you what the question is asking you for. So if you are doing this, as, as in like if you are doing this replace x by something strategy, at least even if it doesn't work right, it will tell you on the spot that it doesn't work. That's why I like this strategy. It's very, very stable. So I see that it didn't work. Then I'm going to try, I mean, there are only two transformations. I mean, if this doesn't work, just try the other one. So I'm going to try to replace x by minus x first. Then I will replace x by modulus of x. Okay? And please remember, I know for some of you, you don't, you don't, you, you will usually just do some change to the entire expression that is inside. No, okay? Please remember, no. You can only touch the x from one step to another step. You can only touch the x. Okay? So the transform graph of this will be what? The transform graph of this, it is going to be a reflection about the y-axis. Why? Because if I were to try to maintain the same output, then positive x will become negative x. Negative x will become positive x. So it's going to be a full reflection about the y-axis. If you were to use the same explanation that I, that I tried to discuss with you guys just now, but in exam, just, just regurgitate this part. So it is going to be this. The whole thing is going to be reflected. I'm going to make sure that I draw the reference lines first. So I have this. X is equal, sorry, Y is equal to, uh, I did a reflection. So this is going to be equal to 2X plus 1. I replace all the X by minus X. And my graph is going to be, oops, not this. <clears throat> the minimum point is going to be on the Y axis. So my graph is going to be like this. Minimum point, then go back up. And here is going to be this. This minimum point here is 0, 2. And now I'm ready to draw this graph. Y is equal to this, where I replace the x here by modulus of x, which means that this part will remain the same. And this part involves the oblique asymptote, so I do want this oblique asymptote. So my graph will be like this. Oblique asymptote. And I will have this. And this part is going to be reflected over. So I'm going to draw the other oblique asymptote first. So this will be y is equal to 2x plus 1. This will be y is equal to 2 minus x plus 1, which is minus 2x plus 1, because I reflected it about the y-axis. Then this will be at the point 0, 2.